Good day everyone, this is your teacher Mama Doko and for our lesson video today, I will be discussing the statement of cash flows and before we will proceed to our topic, let me give you our learning objectives. Discuss the components and structures of statement of cash flows and prepare a statement of cash flows looking back to your lessons let us check how much you remembered from our last topic determine if the account increases owner's equity decreases owner's equity or no effect in owner's equity number one utility expense the answer is decreases owners equity number two professional fees the answer is increases owners equity number three salaries the answer is decreases owner's equity number four prepaid expenses the answer is no effect in owner's equity and the last number number five cash equivalents the answer is increases owner's equity well done guys for being able to answer the questions now we can proceed to our next topic so far we have studied the statement of financial position the statement of comprehensive income and the statement of changes in equity and in this lesson we will focus on the financial statement that explains the changes in cash the statement of cash flows cash is an important assets it is an account affected by many transactions if you remember the debit and credit side of the cash account the t account generally represent cash receipts and cash disbursement Cash receipts may come from cash sales to customers, collection of customer accounts, loan and other borrowings, and owner's contribution. While cash disbursements are payments for business expenses, purchases of inventories and other assets, liabilities to creditors, and dividends to owners so dividends is the distribution of corporate profits to eligible shareholders the statement of cash flows presents a detailed summary of all the cash inflows and outflows or the sources and uses of cash during the period the statement of cash flows meets the objective of financial reporting and what is the objective to help assess the amounts timing and uncertainty of future cash flows the statement of cash flows also shows the net change in cash for the year and the beginning balance of cash to its year end balance statement of cash flows provides the net change in the cash balance of a company for a period helps owners see if their revenues are actually translated to cash collections helps owners see if they have enough cash inflows in order to pay any maturing liabilities the statement of cash flows provides answer to the following questions where did the cash come from 
what was the cash used for, and what was the change in the cash balance. There are three major activities of the business, namely the operating activities, the investing activities, and the financing activities. And operating activities are related to the main revenue producing activities of the business. So these are the cash effects of transactions that enter into the determinations of the net income. While the investing activities, these are cash transactions related to acquisition and disposal of long-term assets such as the property, plant, and equipment, and intangible assets. While financing activities, these are the cash transactions of equity owners and creditors. Like for example, obtaining resources from owners and providing them with a return on their investments and borrowing money from creditors and repaying the amounts borrowed. I have here the basic format of the statement of cash flows. Cash flows reported under operating activities are the cash received from customers, cash received from fees, commission and other income, cash payments to suppliers, cash payments to employees, cash payments for other operating expenses and the interest payments and remember these students that cash flows from operation reveals the present ability of the company to generate cash from its operation positive cash flows from operations suggest that there is an exist cash that can be used to purchase long-term assets, pay debts, or distribute to owners. And cash flows reported under investing activities are the cash payments to acquire property, plant, and equipment, intangible, and other long-term assets. And the cash receipts from sale of property, plant, and equipment, intangibles, and other long-term assets. And also remember this, cash flows from investing activities hints on the company's ability to generate cash in the future. And negative cash flows from investing activities implies that the company used cash to acquire long-term assets intended to generate cash and revenue in the future. While a positive cash flow from investing activities may indicate that the company is downsizing. Okay, so downsizing means reducing operating cost or workforce. And then the cash flows reported under the financing activities are the cash investment from owners, cash proceeds from bank loans, cash distributed to owners, cash withdrawals of owners, and the repayment of bank loans. And then the net change in cash or net cash flow, the increase or the decrease of cash. So the net amount of change in cash, whether it is an increase or decrease for the current period. It is the total change brought by operating, investing, and financing activities. And then the cash at beginning of the year or the beginning cash balance, it is the balance of the cash account at the beginning of the accounting period. And then the cash at end of the year or the ending cash balance, the balance of the cash account at the end of the accounting period computed using the beginning balance plus the net change in cash for the current period. Since we already learned the components and structures of statement of cash flows, this time we will prepare a statement of cash flows. 
and we have a real world example. Juana Sari Sari store had the following transactions during the year. And these are the transactions. Purchase of goods, paid cash, 100,000 pesos. Sale of goods, received cash, 150,000 pesos. Paid utilities, 30,000 pesos. Paid rent, 10,000 pesos. Sold equipment for cash, 100,000 pesos. Owner withdraws investment, 10,000 pesos. Cash on hand, January 1, 2016, 50,000 pesos. Compute for the net cash flow generated by or used in operating activities. Using the given above, compute for the net cash flow generated by or used in investing activities. Using the given above example, compute for the net cash flow generated by or used in financing activities. And using the given above example, prepare a statement of cash flows. Let us now prepare Juana Sari Sari store statement of cash flows. And don't forget to write the heading of the financial statement and state the date of the financial statement. And these are the transactions under the operating activities of the Sari Sari store. So we have the cash receipts or cash inflows and the cash disbursement or the cash outflows of the business. So sale of goods is a cash inflows or cash receipts amounted to 150,000 pesos. Purchase of goods is a cash disbursement amounted to 100,000 pesos so it is a negative. And then paid utilities cash disbursement also negative or decrease and then the paid rent is a cash disbursement or decrease in the cash flows amounted to 10,000 pesos so the net cash generated by operating activities amounted to 10,000 pesos and then the cash flows from investing activities so we have cash inflows or cash receipts the owner sold equipment for cash amounted to 100,000 pesos and there is no cash outflows or cash disbursement from investing activities so the net cash generated from invested investing activity amounted to 100,000 pesos and then the cash flows from financing activity so we have one transaction here withdrawals by owner so withdrawals by owner is a negative or decrease in the cash flows of the business amounted to 10,000 pesos and the net cash generated from financing activities amounted to 10,000 pesos then the net change in cash so cash flows from operating activities is positive 10,000 pesos and then we need to add the net cash generated from investing activity which is also positive amounted to 100,000 pesos and then we deduct or de decrease the net cash generated from financing activities which is 10,000 pesos so the net change in cash amounted to 100,000 pesos and then we add the cash the beginning cash in January 1 2016 which is 50,000 pesos so the ending cash balance of December 31 2016 amounted to 100 50,000 pesos and then don't forget to double rule your answer to show that this is the final one I'm sure you learned something from our discussion try to answer this illustration first determine from which business activity falls 
these following transactions. Second, compute net cash provided by operating activities. Let us check your answers. Net income, the answer is operating. Dividends paid, the answer is financing. Increase in accounts receivable, operating. Increase in accounts payable, operating, purchase of equipment, investing, depreciation expense, operating, issue of notes payable, financing. The answer for the net cash provided by operating activities is 39,000 pesos. Well done, guys, for being able to answer this illustration. Thank you for watching this lesson video, dear students. Good job and well done. Have a nice day.